decided to leave Port Charles. Just like that? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I know it seems sudden. Maybe you should think this through a little bit more. No, I've overstayed my welcome. Bucky, it's time for me to go. Rebecca, look, I'm, I'm sorry that things didn't work out between you and Nicholas, but that's no reason to leave. And the Quartermains were Emily's family. They've become yours. They'd miss you. We'd miss you. Again, I'm, I'm sorry for the way I treated her. I'm, I'm not proud of it by any means. This isn't about you. It's, it's about me and what I've realized listening to the three of you talk about your history. We didn't mean to exclude you. You had a history with my sister. Emily was a part of your lives. And all this time, I thought that I came to Port Charles because of the money, but oh, now I see that it was because of the sister that I never knew. And I'm not gonna bore you with my childhood, but um, I always felt different. Like, like I didn't fit in. And um, I guess I was searching for roots of, of some kind, I don't know, clues to, to who I was and where I came from. Rebecca, we, we projected a lot of Emily onto you. It wasn't fair. Everyone did. Nicholas, it's okay. It was only natural. I don't know. I felt it from the quarter maids, too. You all assumed that Emily and I were alike, or that we had some deep secret connection because we were twins, but I didn't really know my sister until tonight. We probably said too much. Oh, lucky. You were speaking from the heart you know, about the connection that all four of you shared. You were loyal friends who supported each other through through good times and bad. And Emily wasn't a saint on a pedestal. <laughs> As she was a real flesh and blood person who could do wrong and make mistakes. But uh, listening to you has, has really helped me see my sister more clearly. Now that I've gotten what I came for, I can leave. What about family, friends, job at the hospital? I appreciate that you want me to stay. Lucky I really do, but I need to build my own life and uh, I need to do this for myself. why Rebecca needed to leave. As much as she tried to fit in, she was always going to feel like an outsider. Maybe if she would have just given it a little more time. That's a moot point now. She's made up her mind. Don't shed too many tears. No, she, she's right. Rebecca needed to move on, and as much as I wish her well, you have to admit things were getting a little weird around here. Yeah, well, she, she was hurt. She wanted to hurt you back. She obviously had some sort of agenda with me here tonight, but... She couldn't go through with it in the end. I think that says something about her. Yeah, I guess we should be grateful for small favors, huh? I'm actually kind of surprised. Why? Well, it's just you and Rebecca had something real for a while there. All of a sudden, it just changed. It was just gone. I still can't figure out what happened. It's getting late. We gotta get to the Christmas tree lot before it closes. That's uh, Elizabeth's polite way of telling me to drop it. Hey, you wanna come look at Christmas trees? No, with us? no, no, thanks. I'm you just, sure? yeah, I'm just gonna Christmas head home. Cheer? No, no, I'm fine. All right. Have fun. I know the holidays can get kind of lonely without Emily, but I mean, you know, you've got Spencer and 
We're here for you, okay? And the right one's gonna come along. Thanks. All right. Is the work. The last year, Cameron spent three hours running around this place trying to pick a tree. This year, you and I will pick tour three, and he can make the final selection. Yeah, the best laid plans. Oh, right? geez, don't let him see this one. <laughs> Why not? Well, because it's all bare on this side. Don't you remember the tree he picked last year because he felt sorry for it? Yeah, all we had to do was just turn the bare side to face the wall. Well, was any the wiser. Yeah, but... Hey, ho, 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 y'all. Getting with the spirit of the season, are you? Hey, what are you doing here? Picking out a Christmas tree? Yeah, I was. I thought I might put one in the Haunted Star, you know, decorate it. People love Christmas. Why fight it? I suppose you're going to tell me you have ornaments in there, huh? Well, you celebrate your way and I'll celebrate mine. Hold on a second there, Ebenezer. What have we got? How'd that get there? Cuban. You buying contraband cigars at the Christmas tree lot now? Well, a guy's got to go where Castro tells him to go, you know? Officer, am I in uh, danger of being arrested? Hmm. You uh, staying in town for Christmas? I haven't really decided yet. You know me, Mr. Cynical. All those scenes of domestic bliss just make me wonder what it is that's bubbling under the surface. We need to pick up the kids from daycare. Meet me at the car? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So, uh, should you call mom? Wish her a happy birthday? I'm sure she can get through a birthday without hearing from me. Well, um, have a good evening. We'll, uh, see you soon. Yeah, happy tree buying, huh? Hey, uh, save one of those cigars for me, will you? You got it, cowboy. Well, judging by your evaluations, the hospital's gonna miss you. Thank you. I've enjoyed the job. Yeah. Good luck in your new venture. <laughs> oh, how sweet. You've come for a special goodbye. Mm, not really, but I understand how Look, you feel. Look, take your smug attitude and shove it, you hypocritical two-timing snake. My one consolation is that secrets always come out in the end. I just wish I could be here when Lucky finds out that you're sleeping with his brother. 